children reach Los Angeles, they will tell their great-grandfather that their trip on Super Train was an absolute and unalloyed joy. Is that clear? Harry, someday I'm going to get you for this. Mrs. Nordoff is asleep, sir. She left orders not to be disturbed. Well, wake her up, damn you! It's her life I'm talking about! Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Would you like to talk to our passenger relations officer? Dave Noonan, can I help you, sir? Yeah, what time do you get to Chicago? Five minutes past three. Well, listen, I got a plane to Chicago. Now, if I'm a little late, could you hold the train? This guy's unreal. <laughs> Look, there's a guy on that train. He's going to kill my wife. And what guy is it that we're talking about, sir? Listen, his name is Waldo Chase, and he may be with her right now. Waldo Chase. Right, I got it. Yeah, you, you got to grab him and lock him up. I, I certainly will do that, sir. He's, the moment he does one thing out of line... <laughs> Same to you, sir. Can you get me to JFK by a quarter of twelve? Oh, that's only twenty-four minutes. Are you nuts? For a hundred bucks? Get in. Longer. Have you any ideas? 
40 at gate 49. Gate 49? What time does it arrive? 2.55. I can still make it. Heaven, you're here. Those kids have ruined me. I am ruined. I will never work again. Mrs. Green. What, Mrs. Green? Mrs. Carter. You saw You saw those little kids. Those kids did it to me. You know who I am. I know who you are. I'm going to see that you're fired off of this. I have an important engagement tonight. Oh, Mrs. Green. I think you'd do with their hair, Green. Yes, you look better. phone call. To your husband? Yeah. Have you second thoughts? No. I'd just like to thank him. A farewell gift? Tonight on Super Train, Dick Van Dyke does a favor for a friend. How would you feel if she was dead? You stay away from my wife, you raving lunatic! Don't you ever call me that again. You drink this down. Tomorrow morning, everything will look completely different. I, I, I've got a train to catch, and my wife's going to be dead. I always pay my debts. Super train.
Philip. You okay? Huh? Yeah. Can you get up? Yeah, well, let me help you. Easy, easy, easy. There he is. Now, what happened? You want me to call a doctor or anything? No, I'm okay. I just suddenly felt everything going around. That ever happened before? Yes, once in a while, I kind of black out. Must be terrifying. What's terrifying? These people just passing you by, going on their own way. Well, that's New York for you. Everybody's on their own trip. <clears throat> but you stopped. Well, I had a minute. Now, take care. You'll be all right now. I cannot tell you, sir, how much I appreciate it. Another memorable ride on Super Train, eh? Rose! Oh, Rose, my dear. Okay, Harry, what do you want? Rose, it seems that our chairman, uh, Mr. Root, has two charming little great-grandchildren that'll be making this trip to... stirs up painful memories of Beth for Joe. Then Quincy tries to clear a veteran cop who's under fire for killing a teenager. Little Women, Quincy, then Women in White tomorrow. Stay tuned now for the powerful and passionate drama of From Here to Eternity, starring William Devane and Natalie Wood. See the whole story, the story Hollywood couldn't tell in 1953. From Here to Eternity, next on NBC.